Shinsuke Nakamura, Finn Balor, the Intercontinental title. It will be stellar. Raw and SmackDown this week in particular, as well as Stomping Grounds, saw ridiculous, low, horrible, awful, disastrous ticket sales for the events that transpired this week. Rusev, is he leaving the WWE much like a lot of other superstars are for AEW? A former WWE champion in Jinder Mahal looks like he will be extending his contract with the WWE. Now, at one point, Rusev was actually on a high pedestal and Jinder Mahal was looked as an afterthought. Then they built up Jinder Mahal and now Jinder Mahal is, a, is not the afterthought. Now Rusev is the afterthought. So there's a lot of speculation and rumors that Rusev could be leaving the WWE while Jinder Mahal will be staying with World Wrestling Entertainment. And WWE are doing these contracts where they're not going to sign you for one year, two years, three years. No, we're going to sign you for five years just to make sure you don't leave for any other company or promotion. Roman Reigns, ladies and gentlemen, remember to share, subscribe, smash the bell, and turn on all notifications. Refresh my YouTube channel multiple times a day. Roman Reigns, and I, you know, he teased joining 205 Live, and that's only because Roman Reigns can do those high-flying maneuvers out the ring. You know, he can act like a super cruiserweight, a flyweight, you know, a uh, you know, 205 weight, whatever it is. Roman Reigns joked uh, on social media that all he has to do is you know, lose a few pounds, and he could join the ranks of 205 Live, but obviously I think that was that was just, a, a, you know, a, a joke, a joke of signing things. But ladies and gentlemen, aside from all of that, um, between Roman Reigns joking about 205 Live, Rusev leaving WWE perhaps, and again, I mean, that would be a huge pickup for, you know, AEW, and then, you know, what are they going to do with Jinder Mahal for the next five years, and what is the WWE going to do with the, the ridiculous, ludicrous, low ticket sales they've been getting, and I guess people are still ordering pay-per-views in 2019, apparently. And they said that, uh, you know, people are still dishing out $49, $50 when you clearly got the WWE Network for, for $9.99. But, no, it is very, very dire times. Is, is this the curtain call for WWE in 2019? Because, ladies and gentlemen, SmackDown tonight, as SmackDown is actually currently on right now, um, I looked at the pictures online, and the WWE has done a good job of tarping off the seats to make it look like the arena is filled to capacity, to make it look like it's been sold out, people hanging from the rafters, but that's not the case. Raw and SmackDown this week in stopping grounds again. And this is not, this is, could this be a sign of the times? Because AEW's coming up, you know, you still have Impact Wrestling and ROH, you know, there's a lot of different AEW. The thing is, there is a lot of different situations and companies and wrestlers and wrestling. There's a lot of different. You, you have choices. You have variety. You know. You, you know, the WWE isn't the only show in town anymore. You know, the bottom line is the WWE. They're still making a lot more money with their international deals, their Saudi Arabia deals. When they have WrestleMania, you know, I know everyone's saying, "Oh, this is the this is it. This is the end. This is this is the blackest hole the WWE's ever been in." But the, the, the fact of the matter is, is the WWE still got that, the, they still got the network. They still got that huge Saudi Arabia deal. WWE, as you may see it right now, may not seem too, too good. It may not seem too sturdy. Uh, it may not look like the future is too good. But they're signing guys for 5, 10 years. And then you got Finn Balor and Nakamura in, in what is a, 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 a wet dream for, for some wrestling fans. Oh, Finn Balor and Nakamura, intercontinental title on the line. That is going to be a great match. And, 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 and what about the WWE doing all these two of three falls matches between Raw and SmackDown Live? That's the new thing now, two or three falls matches to combat the commercial breaks so the wrestlers can then get a break in between. Uh, you know, like, you know, WWE is trying to treat their event like, uh, you know, football, you know, whatever other sporting events out there have breaks. The WWE, you know, there should be no breaks. There should be no ties. There should be no, I mean, remember when a, a two out of three falls match was actually special and meant something. Remember when you actually looked forward to that? Now they're doing that to combat the commercial breaks so the wrestlers can then, and then I think that slows up the tide. I think that slows up the momentum. I, I just think it. You know, kind of, so the, for, for the live people at it in the attendance who are actually there live, not that they, there are many people watching there live because, again, it's been disastrous attendance for Raw and SmackDown this week. Um, you know, you, you, you got to sit there for two or three minutes 
uh, each match, no matter what the match is, uh, you know, it, whatever match they, they, they throw that loop all over, well, this is going to be a, a two or three falls match. And this will decide the winner. And I don't know if you want to call it pumpkin dinner or whatnot, but ladies and gentlemen, I, I remember, remember three stages of hell when one match would be a single match. The second match would be, um, you know, a ladder match. And then the third match would be a steel cage match. Remember, remember that when that was actually special. So even if they were to do something like that, that would we are very thin very early. But at least, you know, the WWE is trying something different. I mean, no other wrestling company is, you know, doing this to combat commercial breaks. So, you know, you got to, I mean, we're still getting the commercial breaks. It's just that there's no wrestling going on during the commercial breaks. So in essence, this is like boxing. The wrestlers are getting a breather, but instead of 30 seconds, it's more like three minutes. And again, I don't know what's that going to do to the tide or the momentum of a match. But at least you know there won't be a, uh, a pinfall during a commercial break. Then again, when is there ever a pinfall during a commercial break on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown Live or NXT or a, well, wherever? You, I mean, there's so many different varieties of choices. I mean, this is like uh, fast food. This is like McDonald's, KFC, Taco Bell. Where do you go? Which do you choose? Who do you go with? Who do you stay with? I mean, what do you, I mean, what do you do? But anyways, viewers and subscribers, Sean View Damon here updating you. Uh, today has been a huge day, uh, huge as it concerns of news, rumors, headlines, uh, and uh, breaking news in the WWE. So, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, huge news on the horizon. So you got uh, Rusev leaving WWE, did them all stay in. Roman Reigns 205 Live, Finn Balor and Nakamura. I know that's going to set the uh, stage for, uh, you know, great matches, but um, people are going to take that match and, like, blow it up. And, I mean, it's going to be a good match. It's, it's going to be solid. It's, you know, I, I just don't know why they didn't have that match at, like, say, at WrestleMania. You know, Finn Balor against Bobby Lashley instead. They should have Finn Balor versus Nakamura at that event. They should have saved that match for SummerSlam is what they should have done. But, hey, who's showing the entertainment? I'm just the face that, that, that books this damn place. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, your comments, your opinions, more to come. Remember, the, the, most things, the best thing to do to this channel is share, subscribe, leave your comments, leave your sentiments, leave your messages, leave your likes, and just share my videos all over Facebook and Twitter. We have to spread this like wildfire like never before because Sean View Entertainment will be the man of the hour. And that's all I got to say about that. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about this jam-packed and loaded day of WWE news and rumors? And hopefully Sean View Entertainment made you feel some sort of way. Subscribe.